Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to import save files in the PC, PS2 emulator, PS, SX2. It's not that difficult to do but this will require you to download some additional files and possibly format your current save file if you have one. We're going to be doing this in steps so it's easy to follow so without further ado let's get this guide underway. The first thing that we're going to do is get the emulator itself. Now you can get this and install it yourself. This guide isn't about installing the emulator, so I'm just going to go under the assumption that you've already got it and installed it. So we'll simply move on to step two. In order to access the memory card, you're first going to need to format it in order for it to be seen correctly. In order to do this, what you're going to do is open up PCSX2 and select no disk. Then select fast start and once you've opened it and you're in the main menu select browser and then select the card. It should ask you if you want to format it. Say yes and then exit. For this next step what we're going to need to do is get another program called MyMC. Simply pop it into Google and this should be the first site that you come to. Download the latest version and unzip the files into the same folder that the PCSX2 emulator is located in. It's at this point in the video that a lot of other videos don't seem to tell the whole truth about this subject and claim that's it when it isn't. However, for a lot of users, if you do try accessing the MyMC application at this point, you're either going to meet with an error message or the application will work. It's basically a 50-50 split. If you are having this problem and you double click on MyMC and you either get a blank screen or you just get an endless loading option, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get two separate files labelled like so. If you google this you should come across it right away, simply download it and then add it to the PCSX2 folder. There is a chance that it might ask you for another file that is along the same lines. If it does, simply search for that download it and then add it into the same file as well. Now that we're on to step 4, now we're going to access the memory card by opening my MC program and then navigating it to your memory card folder and then selecting your card. Now that all this is done, the final step is a simple one. Download any save that you're looking for, put them to one side, open my MC and then select the memory card, then go to import and then select that save file that you've downloaded and then install it to the memory card itself. And that should be it guys, you shouldn't have any trouble. If you do come across any trouble however, do simply leave a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you 